Today in the first shed, I am going to show you how to build one of my link snares. This has been a much requested, very big favorite. I've shown it several times in shows, but people want to know every little detail. I don't know how many more details there are, but here we go. <laughs> I start with a 30 inch piece of 1 16th, seven by seven, okay? It's a nice soft cable. Most people like to make snares out of one by 19 because it's nice and stiff. This is so small it makes no difference. And I like the suppleness for falling on, on, on the back of, a, of the lynx's neck. A 30 inch piece of 16 gauge wire. A lock. Now these locks, I have two here. They're both for 1 16th. Uh, one's just a regular toothed cam lock regular size, and the other one's a, a mini one. I forget what the name of it is, but it's a much smaller one. And I like the bigger one. And the reason being is the bigger one adds weight at the top of the snare, and when it gets bu uh, bumped by the, the cat or whatever, boom, it helps it fall, right? I found I've, uh, I do better with the, with the big weight now. You're not fooling them, and lynx are not uh, shy about steel or anything anyway. So I, while I've used both, I prefer the big one. Then you're gonna need two 1 16th double ferrules, okay? And what a double ferrule is, is that means that you can put uh, a, a piece of wire or cable on both sides, okay? You can join them together. And so I use two of those. Let's get to building. Your cable has a natural fall, a natural memory, and that's what we want to work with. And I always do this, and I, I, I don't know how many thousands of snares I've built, but I always pick it up and I do this, and then I take and feed it through on the way that the snare, I want the snare to fall, okay? So we're, I know that I am going with the, uh, the natural flow, and that this is, is going on the right way. It's always embarrassing to build these and, and have them built backwards so that they lock up trying to close instead of the other way. Then you take one of your 1 16 and you take and shove it on through one side of that ferrule. Take and bring it out and through the other side of your, uh, on your lock, right? And then back through the other side. Now at this point, I like to do this. I like to make sure that I'm not got a stress or a twist or anything else. And then I take and give it a, a little bit of a pull just to tighten it up. You don't have to get it very tight, okay? Make sure that your, your cable is all the way through, okay? Still got a nice, a nice fall to it, beautiful. Take and put it in here. Now this is awkward because this is not how I usually build this stuff, but I'm showing you guys how to do it. My hand shouldn't be there. Okay, twice. Kaboom, there we go. There's a snare, there's the business end. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that pretty? Woo, look at that. Look at that, already catching. So then we've got, we've got to join this 16 gauge wire, which is also our anchor and our support, all in one. So I take my other ferrule and I take and shove my my cable through the one side, and then I, I shove my 16 gauge wire through the other side, okay? Make sure both of them are just sticking out just a tiny bit there, and then we're gonna give it a crimp. There you go. There you have my favorite snare. And the nice thing that I like about this is that it is automatically the right, uh, Length, you just set her back to the stop, choose the right length, give it a little plump. I like to set it so that this lock is either at 11 o'clock or one o'clock, depending on how you look at it. And that helps if there's a little bit of wind or whatever, but also then when, when your, your uh, links come in, it'll fall so nice and easy. That's what I like about that seven by seven. That's my favorite link snare. And that's all there is to it, folks. Give it a try. <laughs>